Hello all. Our statement reads, prove that the derivative of A inherits the discontinuity of B using uh, the divergence of A equals zero and the boundary conditions for the potential. In this question, we had the same boundary conditions as our last question. You should be familiar with these or at least their setup. So our solution says, let's set up the Cartesian coordinates at the surface with z perpendicular to the surface and x parallel to the current. We kind of saw that in the sheet equation uh, a couple questions ago. But the boundary condition of the potential says that a above equals a below at every point on the surface. It follows that partial of a with respect to x and partial of a with respect to y are the same above and below. So any discontinuity is confined to the normal derivative. All right, so we know that b above minus b below is equal to mu naught k cross n hat. And in this setup, we have n hat, uh, k cross n hat would be magnitude k uh, times the negative y hat direction. Further, we know that the magnetic field above is this partial y partial of the component ay with z in the x hat and then uh, partial ax uh, with respect to z in the y hat. So if we set these two things equal, we see that uh, x hat's by itself, so that's equal to zero, thus the partial y ay above is equal to ay below, checked off, and uh, we see that y hats have to be equal to one another and we see that the partial of ax above minus the partial ax below is equal to negative mu naught k. So we see that the normal derivative of the component of a parallel to k suffers a discontinuity of, of negative mu naught k, or more compactly, the boundary condition we came to know.